Hi guys, so another little session for you to do. Hope we're all well and keeping well. Um, okay, so today then, so make sure you've done your Pilates warm before you start this. We're gonna start with a spine twist today, okay? So the spine twist, you could sit on a pillar if you wanted to, it just helps with the hips a little bit, um, or just sitting on the floor, okay? So grab a pillar if you need to. So we're just gonna cross the legs, okay? So like I said, you can sit on a pillar and do this. So spine stretch, great exercise to work for the spine a little bit, okay? So shoulders relaxed, head up nice and tall. Let's just think about the inner core muscles and drawing the pelvic floors in as well, okay? So fingertips are touching, thumb underneath the chest there, on the chest sternum there, okay? Fingertips underneath the chin, and just relax the shoulders down, okay? So we're just gonna do a little twist to the right and left. So we're gonna breathe in, and as you're breathing out, we'll do a little twist to the right, just as far as you can. Take it back to centre and then take it all the way back round to the side, just nice and slowly, nice and controlled. So you breathe in, breathe in out, twist to the side, centre, side, and then centre. Okay, so really twisting through the spine, just working with your own range of movement, okay? Now, if you want to make it harder, we'll just take the arms out to the side. So head up nice and tall, bruise stick up through your spine. So we're gonna breathe in, then out a little twist to the right, so head follows to centre, hold it there, breathe in, and then you breathe in out a little twist to the side. So nice and controlled, just twisting through the spine there, up nice and tall, twist into the side, okay? Again, just taking it over as far as you can, holding it there, and then back to centre. Then we can add them little twists in. So we twist, we can push, sorry, little pulses in, Hold it there, breathe in and out, twist, and then we pulse. So a little bit harder. So again, just remember to find the level that feels right for you. Twist and pulse, and so you can sort of feel that through the spine a little bit more. So twist and pulse, up nice and tall. So breathe in and out, twist and pulse. One, two. Okay, so let's just do two more each side, up nice and tall. Hold it there, breathe in and out, twist, pulse. One, two, up nice and tall, twist and pulse. And again, one more each side, twist and pulse. And final side again, twist and pulse, and then back towards centre. Well done. Okay, it's so a little bit of spine. So we're gonna go on to the back, okay? So a nice one, first of all, we're gonna do just the lengthening, and then we're gonna bring it into a little bit of the core, okay? So again, just do what you can. So knees are bent, just relax the body into the floor. Let's think about the inner core muscles, let's think about the pelvic floors. So hips, knees, feet, relax the spine to the floor, arms by side, relax the shoulders, length through the neck. So same arms, same legs. So breathe in. And as you're breathing out, we're going to stretch and we're going to lengthen and then we're going to slowly draw it back in and then we're going to change sides. So we're going to breathe in. So breathe in out, stretch and we're going to lengthen and then we're going to slowly back it in. So we're going to try and keep the body nice and still as we stretch and we lengthen through the body. So this is quite a nice one. Just a nice one just to lengthen for the body, but working for the shoulders and the hips and knees a little bit as well, okay? So again, stretch, lengthen. We're gonna keep the body nice and still, but again, we're gonna keep thinking about them in the core muscles and drawing for the pelvic floors as well, okay? So nice and controlled, stretching, lengthening, and control it back in again, keeping that body and hips nice and still. Now, if you wanna make it a bit harder, we're gonna bring a little bit more of the core. So, we're gonna start with the arms over the head, and as we arms come over, we lift the head and shoulders to the floor and bring the leg up. So we're stretching up towards the toe there, or into the chin, and then we change legs. So breathe in, breathe in out. So lift and squeeze up. If this is not for you, go back to the other option we've just done. So breathe in, breathe out, lift, squeeze. Keep that onto the chin. So we're really stretching up towards the toe there, squeeze it up, and then lower back down, relax the body in. So we're gonna breathe in, breathe out, lift, squeeze, and then lower back down. So bringing them core muscles in. If it did get your neck a little bit, you probably could just bring your hands behind the head just to help assist it a little bit as the leg comes up. If not, we're stretching up towards the toe there, or you go back to the other option. So again, breathe in, but out, lift, squeeze, and control it back down. So really feeling that through them two muscles. Let's do four more, two more each side. Again, really squeeze it up, lower down, and again, stretching up towards that toe. Let's do one more each side. So lift, squeeze, and one more. That's it, squeeze it up, well done. Let's have a little stretch out. So stretch the arms and legs out, sit, give it a stretch out, sit, 
well done. Okay, so this time then we're going to go on to our side. So, we're starting with a little leg raise to start off with. Okay, just relax our head and our hands, hand in front, or take your hand away if you want to make it a little bit hard on the core. So just lifting and lowering that leg to start off with, so making sure it doesn't like the camera that sits. So lifting and lowering. So we're going to breathe in and out, take it up, and then just control it back down again. Again, to keep thinking about the inner core muscles, drawing the pelvic floors as well. And just remember to rest if you need to. Again, it's just your workout. You just do what you can, okay? So if you do need to rest at any time, have a little rest and then join back in again. So just working through the hips and knees a little bit, taking it up and then just nice and slowly control it back down. I'm going to bring the hips into it a little bit in a minute, okay? So again, just nice and slowly take it up, control it down. Let's just do a couple more and we'll have a little rest before we take it the next little bit, which is quite challenging on the hips next one. Okay, and then bring the knees in. I've done, I've done this one yet. Okay, just pull my knees in, have a little run. Now this time I'm going to do that pyramid. Now the pyramid is, we're going to come up and then we go over up and then behind so we're drawing that triangle so as we come up we're just below that leg there and then we come forwards that's your base the triangle up for your point and then behind obviously the bigger the triangle the harder it is so if you want to make it a bit easy just make it a little bit smaller okay obviously the further forward and back you go the harder it is this is definitely challenging on the hips you might want to even put your hands in front if you just need to for support as well so up and over up and then behind nice and controlled okay and that's it it's working just through the hips there, nice and slowly, nice and controlled. That's it. Again, keep thinking about the inner core muscles and pelvic floors as well. That's it. So up and over and up and behind. That's it. Well done. Okay. Like I said, do rest if you need to. You can certainly feel it through the hips, definitely. Okay. So do rest at any point if you need to. So let's just do two more folds and back. So four more. That's it, nice and slowly, forwards, up and then back. Let's do one more. That's it, Oof, you can definitely feel that on the hips. And then take it back, well done. Okay, pull the knees in. Ooh, give that legs a rub, well done. Okay, the next one then is we're gonna come face down. So again, it's that swimming one, okay? So we're gonna relax our forehead on our hands and it's alternate at each leg, okay? So relax the head and the hands, we're gonna breathe in, breathe out, bring up leg up and then control it down. So alternating each leg, keep the hips and body nice and still, okay? So we're gonna breathe in, give that, take it up, and control it down. So again, it's not a big movement off the floor, we're just controlling that movement, trying to keep the hips and spine nice and still, we breathe in, give that, take it up, and control it back down again. That's it again, keep thinking about the inner core muscles and drawing the pelvic floors in as well. So again, we breathe in, and that, take it up, and then lower back down. Nice and slowly, nice and controlled. Again, just working for the legs a little bit. Okay, now if you want to take it a bit further, bring the arms out as well, okay? So we're going to bring it into that swimming. So we stretch the arms and legs out, okay? So it's opposite arm, opposite leg. So we're going to breathe in, bring out right arm, left leg. As we lengthen it away, just balance that nose on the mat there, okay? Take it up, hold it, and then lower back down. So really feel that leg and arm stretch away from the body, and lower back down. If that's not for you, just go back to legs only, okay? So breathe in, that's it up, hold it, and lower back down. So alternating each leg and arm as we stretch and lengthen through the body there. Nice and slowly, nice and controlled. So breathe in, and that's it up, hold it, and lower back down. That's it, so just alternating each leg, okay? Now, if you want to make it even harder, you lift the arms and legs up together. So you breathe in, then out, take it up, hold it, and lower back down. Again, if this is not for you, go back to the easier options. It's a little bit harder. As you breathe in, out, take it up, hold it, and lower down. Now, your head comes up slightly this time with the arms, okay? So don't leave your head behind, and back down again. So again, breathe in, then out, take it up, hold it, and lower down. Okay? Now the last little option, if you want to make it harder that is, but again, just be careful, just do that little kick in. So as you come up, we breathe in, now take it up, hold it, little kicks, a few breaths in and out, and then come back down again. So breathe in, now take it up, hold it, little kicks the arms and legs, and then lower back down again. So you breathe in, now take it up, little kicks, arms and legs, and then lower back down again. So you breathe in, 
I'll take it up, hold it, little kicks the arms and legs. Again, if that's not for you, just be careful. Let's do a few more little kicks. Do two more, so breathe in. Take it, hold it, little kicks, arms and legs, lower down one more time, breathe in. Take it up, hold it, little kicks, and lower down. Well done. Nice stretch then. Is that nice? Charles pose stretch. Push your bottom back towards the heels. Stretch your arms out forwards. Stretch it out through the spine. Oh, remember we've got that cat stretch. Another nice back stretch. Hands to shoulders, knees to hips. Tuck that head and pelvis under. Push that spine up towards that ceiling. Drop that belly button down. Stick that bottom of the head out. Arching through the back again. Either one. Really nice back stretch. It's all really nice in the back there. But again, just find the option that feels right for you. Whether it's this one, or it's a child's pose, or it could even be a seated stretch. Just stretch out through the back. Well done. Okay, so opposite leg. Make sure you're doing your opposite side this time. So opposite side, okay, so back with that leg raise again. I'm just gonna lift and lower, nice and controlled. Keep them hips up on top of each other. Hands in front, take the hand away. Again, take it up, lower down. So we're gonna breathe in. Now take it up and then lower down, just nice and slowly, nice and controlled. Again, do rest if you need to. So again, you do start to feel this on the leg. That's it, slowly up, lower back down again. Nice and controlled, that's it. So breathe in, and now take it up, lower back down. Remember to rest when you need to. I don't want to keep saying that, but I just don't want it to. We'll push ourselves, but just be careful, it's not too much, okay? So we'll just do a couple more. Pull our knees in and we'll take it into that pyramid. Well done. Pull our knees in. Give that a little rub. Well done. Definitely feel that on the hips there. Well done. Okay, into the pyramid this time then. So remember, we're going to come up and then over in front and then up. Leg and then behind. Okay, so again, make sure the screen's got. Sit up and then over and then up and then behind. Obviously, the further forward and back you go, the harder it is, the higher you up you go again. So just make it small if you start to struggle. Certainly feel this right through the hips and the bottom there. And again, rest whenever you need to, okay? So nice and controlled. So taking it up and then over and then up and then down. So again, breathe in, now take it up, and over and then up and then down. That's it. Oh gosh, you can definitely feel this. This is my weaker side now. I definitely feel this more for this side. I don't know why it's my right leg really, but I can feel it right to the bottom there. That's it. So again, up and over and up and down. Okay, let's just do two more folds in back then. And again, pull our knees in, just release just through the hips. Well done. And then one more back. Well done. Okay, pull our knees in. Oh, give that leg a little rub there. Definitely feel that through the hips. Well done. Okay, onto our backs then. Shoulder bridges. Okay, so on our backs with our knees bent, always make sure hips, knees, feet, okay? There should be in a line. Then you're going to shuffle your heels in towards your bottom. I'm just going to start with little pelvic tilts first of all, so nice in the back. Relax the back in the floor, we're going to breathe in, then out to the hips under, and then roll the hips back, just roll them through the hips. Nice little pelvic tilt, so pull them hips under, push your spine to the floor, and then roll the hips back. Just nice and slowly. Rolling them hips under and rolling them hips back. Just feels quite nice in that lower back. Okay. That's it. So a little, nice little pelvic tilts. And then we're going to peel that spine off the floor. So we're going to breathe in. We're now going to roll the hips under, peel that spine off, push them hips up nice and tall, hold it there, breathe in. And as you're breathing out, nice and slowly, bring the top, the middle, the lower, and as the hips come down last. Okay, so I'm really peeling that spine up off the floor and peel it back down into the floor. Hold it up nice and tall, breathe in. Breathe out, lower that spine nice and slowly. So just taking your hips up as far as you can. Again, just keep thinking about the inner core muscles and pelvic floors, pushing it up nice and tall. Hold it there, breathe in. Breathing out nice and slowly. Now, if you want to make it harder, which you don't have to, we can add them heel raises in. So as the hips are lifted, we can bring one heel off the floor down, the other down, both up, and down and lower the spine down. If that's not for you, keep your shoulder bridging. So we're gonna get a little bit harder. We're gonna work the legs today. So again, just do what you can. So you can have them little heel raises in, one, the other, both up, and then down and lower the spine to the floor. 
You can even make it harder by bringing the knee raise in, but again, you don't have to do this. So as you roll the hips up and keep them hips lifted, you bring one knee up and then down, the other knee comes up and then down and then lower that spine into the floor. Just be careful that is not too much for you. Okay, so you're keeping them hips lifted. If not, go back to the heel raise or just go back to the shoulder bridge. Okay, and then lower the spine to the floor. And we're taking it to the next stage now. So as we push our hips up, we're going to bend and then extend that leg up. Bend and down, keep them hips lifted. Bend, extend, knees cracking, bend and down. And lower the spine into the floor. So we're getting a little bit harder again. So again, if it's not for you, go back to the other options. Okay, bend, extend, bend, extend, bend, and then lower the spine to floor. The hardest option is coming up now. Just be careful, make sure you, it's right for you, okay? Pushing it up. So this time you bend and extend, the lower leg down, lower leg up, and then back down again. So we bend, extend, lower leg down, lower leg up, and then come back down again. Well done. So whatever option you're doing, let's just do two, two more, two more. Definitely feel this. Bend, extend, lower down, keep them hips lifted. That's it. And again, keep thinking internally. Well done, okay? And then bring that spine into the floor. Let's do one more then. Whatever you're doing, let's do one more. Nice and controlled. Sit, so bend, extend, lower down up and again that's it and then let's come back down nice and slowly and bring that ease into the chest just do a little rock from side to side or a little circle around and over the back definitely feel that Ooh. okay so let's just do one more to finish okay one more to finish so we're going to work through the core again okay so knees are bent just relax the body into the floor, okay? Think about core muscles of pelvic floor. So we're gonna breathe in, and out, take one leg into tabletop, the other comes up, and then down, and then down. So we breathe in, and out, take it up, up, down, down. So make sure when both legs are lifted, you're not arching the back. So up, up, down, and down. And that's it. Keeping that back pulled into the floor, okay? Up, up, down, down, okay? Keeping the body nice and still, okay? Now, if I want to make it a bit harder, which you don't have to, we lift the head and shoulders of the floor or lift the chin. So we can use our hands to help assist us a little bit, okay? And again, it's exactly the same with the legs, but again, we're just bringing this bit into it a little bit the upper as well, okay? But again, if it's not for you, put your head back down again. So you just feel it a little bit more. So again, up, up. Down, down, so we're really sort of hitting them core muscles now. But again, just remember to rest if you need to. And then another option is both legs are bent, and you just stretch one leg out at a time. Keep that back pulled into the floor, okay? Obviously, the lower your leg comes down, the harder it is, the more pressure on the back. Just be careful. Sometimes you can take it more outwards than coming downwards, okay? So again, but just be careful with back arching, because you still feel that. You can do this with the head and the floor off the floor as well. So you're stretching it out. And back in, so alternating each leg. Now the final option is this is one leg stretch in Pilates, inside knee, outside ankle as we switch. But if that gets you back, your neck a bit, which does mine, I tend to put my hands behind the head to take the head away off. That is a lot harder. That is a final option as you switch in from one to the other. Again, just find the option that feels right for you. Just be careful, it's not too much. So you're switching from one to the other, nice and slowly. Nice and controlled. Keep the back pulled into the floor and again, keep thinking about the core muscles. Okay, we're almost there. Let's do six more. Three more each leg if we can. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh gosh, you can feel that. You can pull the knees in, have a little rock as well. Oh, your back and then have a little stretch out as well. That's it. Nice stretch out. Stretch that spine, legs. Stretch up for the spine, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers, back down for the spine, hips, knees, ankles, doors. Stretch and lengthening, certainly feel that. Well done. Okay, so another session for you to try, guys, okay? Again, um, make sure you finish off with your Pilates stretches, okay? It's really important we keep up them stretches as well. In the meantime, you know where I am. Give me a message anytime. Um, 
just take care of yourself and hopefully I will see you all soon, okay? But keep doing your Pilates, it will help you. Um, okay, you take care. See you soon, bye. Bye for now.